tonight's Antiques Road Trip saw the beloved BBC experts Paul Laidlaw and Margie Cooper continue their quest for the best finds. The pair went from Chesterfield to Leicester in a bid to find some bargains. They certainly spent up and managed to leave with a wide variety of antiques. And when they got to the auction house, they found huge success. Each performed well in Leicester as they managed to gain profits on almost every item. Paul joked about their success, saying, let's throw the profits on a day's outing. But host Tim Winnicott was on hand to keep things in check. He insisted, no you will not, let's get the abacus out. And as they totaled up their winnings, it seemed there was some incredible profits for the pair. Margie managed to score a respectable £83 to add to her total. He managed to increase his piggy bank by £191, which is one of the biggest earnings seen on the show. But it was better news for Paul who was clearly the winner of the day. But will he be able to hold on to his lead as the duo head into the final day? Yesterday, Paul Laidlaw sabotaged the auction after claiming an item was plastic. While things went excellently for Paul throughout his bout of antique collection, Margie hit some hard times. But the punters weren't on board with it, as the £40 item began the bidding at a meager £30. The first bid of the day was Margie's gilt bronze figurine. And to make things worse, the item in question only bagged the £30, leaving her with a £10 loss. Both auctioneers were utterly astonished by the item not meeting its reserve price and as the gavel fell, Paul questioned, Margie, what happened there? The narrator of the show Tim Winnicott also commented, such a pity eh? But plenty more to go. Margie. Paul went on to joke, I mean, in fairness I did start a rumor around the room that it was made of plastic, but I thought they'd see the humor in it. Devastated, Margie put her head in her hands and sighed. Antiques Road Trip continues tomorrow at 5.15pm on BBC Two.